Hello, this is Dr. Alan Yim. Today I'm going to be showing you the five types of motion between two voices. Normally when we talk about motion between voices, we're speaking about soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. The most important two voices in any four-part texture is the bass and the soprano, the lowest and the upper parts. So keep that in mind when we go forward in the semester that you always want to pay attention to those voices first and then the other ones um, are a little bit secondary. Okay, so motion between voices, five types. The first type is the voices don't move. Now I'm going to put the stems on these as if it was soprano and bass. So you notice the stems go up for the soprano and they go down for the bass. Okay, this is static. This isn't exactly a motion. This is no motion at all. Okay, so both voices stay the same. And, okay. Second, we could have one voice move. So, we could go like this. It doesn't matter if the other voices go up or down, but one stays the same and one moves. So we call this oblique. Okay, so I'm not going to give you the definition right now because it takes too long for me to write this. So static and oblique. Next, we could have them move in the same direction by different amounts. So I'm going to try to show this by moving that one like so, and then maybe this one like that. So we call this similar motion. All right. And it doesn't matter if they both are going up or they're both going down, but they go in the same direction. One moves farther than the other, bigger interval than the other. We could have them move in opposite directions like this. And we call this contrary motion. Oh my gosh, I can't write this morning. Contrary motion. Okay. And lastly, we have the one we have to be most careful with, and that is when they move exactly the same amount. So it looks something like this. Okay. So parallel. Now, a lot of students get confused when they hear parallel motion because we talk about the interval between the two voices. And the confusion is, it, are we talking about how far the voices move or are we talking about this interval, how far apart the voices are? Well, it's when we get to that part, we will be talking about how far the voices are from each other. But it doesn't really matter if they step or they leap. Uh, they're leaping or stepping the same amount when they move in parallel motion. Okay, so same direction for this one. I'm going to put a little asterisk by this. So when we have when we have parallel motion, especially between the bass and soprano, we have to be a little bit careful about how they move. When they move in contrary motion, we'll see, we also have to be a little careful and we have to check to make sure everything's okay. And with similar motion, yes, you're going to see later, we also have to check to make sure that everything is okay with the way the voices are moving. So this is a, these are the three types of motion. Notice on the left side, I wrote this in green. The, the two types over here on the left are, we don't have to worry about how the voices um, are moving when we do this. So, so static and oblique are always good. The other three types of motion, we're going to be doing some checking on this. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for listening.